The health of a people often define the health of a nation. Because of this, public health is extremely important to any organized society. According to the American Public Health Association, public health is researching the health risks to a community and taking measures to prevent these societal detriments to harm society. Currently, American public health de departments accomplish this through influencing policy to help illegalize health risks by researching uh, aspects that make a healthy society by informally and formally educating people on what public educate uh, what public health is and also by serving the public in various health roles these next slides will discuss a brief history of public health now any organized society has always had some form or variation of public health there's always been a desire for government officials or people with power to create a healthy society for their rule. Uh, one of the biggest uh, empires this is seen in is in the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire created things like roads and aqueducts and also an incredible sewer and sanitation system for the people to properly dispose of their waste. Also, the Chinese, during the Zhou Dynasty, created a national smallpox uh, vaccination to combat the smallpox disease that was brought on by the constant flooding of the Yellow River. Uh, another way that uh, public health is seen in the annals of history is in the Black Death. The Black Death was a disease that wiped out nearly a third of Europe. Uh, one of the biggest benefits this disease brought for public health was that it enabled local officials to administer proper care to those in need. Public health also has numerous amount of champions that have helped create healthier societies through uh, education, through innovation, and through a desire to help people live lives to their fullest potential. Edward Jenner was one of the first and foremost of these heroes. He was an English physician who created a smallpox vaccination, and uh, which was able to save countless lives. In fact, it has been noted that Jenner was able to save more lives than anyone else who has ever lived. Uh, John Snow was another example of a public health Hero. He was an English physician and is the father of modern uh, epid epidemiology, uh, which is the study of disease. Uh, Louis Pasteur was a French scientist who uh, showed how things spoil, essentially displaying to the world how dangerous germs can be. Uh, his re research shaped the modern world in its fight for sanitation and cleanliness. Uh, and lastly, Robert Koch. Uh, he was a German biologist who was able to link bacteria to infectious disease, changing public health forever. In the modern era, public health is often carried out through public health enterprise. Essentially, there are three main enterprises within public health. There's public, public health, uh, which includes all government-ran public health programs, such as uh, Medicare or even some state-run hospitals. There's private public health which includes privately ran hospitals and medical practices, uh, medical manufacturers and medical distributors, and even many forms of nursing. Uh, and lastly there is volunteer public health which involves uh, many animal shelters, volunteer firefighting, uh, and also volunteer environmentalists. People who are willing to sacrifice their time to keep the environment and people safe from harm. One of the greatest uh, controversies within the modern era of public health is the distribution of health care. Health care is extremely important for any healthy civiliz civilization. Essentially, by paying monthly fees uh, you will be covered for various health emergencies or procedures that you will face throughout the course of your life. Uh, this process uh, and this industry uh, has received a lot of scrutiny over the years because of its cost and also its need. 
Some important questions to ask about health care are uh, whether or not the state, federal government, or even a private industry should be the one providing health care for you. Uh, another important question is asking whether or not health care uh, as a product is uh, should be viewed as a personal right, whether or not you deserve uh, as a fundamental need to have health care, and also uh, whether or not the wealthier people of a nation should be the ones funding the bill uh, for poor people to have uh, various health care coverages. Ultimately, this is a very... Uh, difficult issue to work through and there are very few effective solutions to this uh, social problem. Disease is one of the greatest threats to any growing civilization. Through germs or viruses, disease are able to spread throughout a civilization sickening and killing all who stand in their way. They are truly one of the greatest threats to any nation aspiring to health. Vaccines are able to help prevent these diseases from harming people. Uh, essentially, a vaccine is uh, done by injecting a strand of a disease into a patient so that that, patient will be fam that patient's body will be familiar with the disease and be able to fight that disease. Epidemiologists are able to study diseases and find various cures uh, for these diseases and also understand the lasting consequences and ramic ramifications for these diseases. Ultimately, vaccines have saved countless lives and are vital in any aspect of public health. Another side to public health is seen in the industry of public health. Though there are some businesses that care more for profit and uh, monetary gain than they do for the health of their employees and ultimately for the health of their nation, most companies seek to satisfy governmental requirements on what it takes to be a healthy business. Uh, there are numerous businesses and privately ran companies that help make uh, both America and the world healthier places. There are health product manufacturers uh, that create certain products that help people become healthy. There are distributors distributors who help uh, distribute these products to various hospitals and medical organizations and are ultimately able to help provide citizens with the health care products that they need. Uh, even certain retail or uh, service companies are able to provide products that meet FDA health code regulations and get, are able to give people things that they need uh, that are approved by the FDA. They are ultimately healthy things to have. And also other companies seek to create safety regulations and a safe work environment where people can maintain uh, their health and eliminate unnecessary risks that could either harm or bring death to them. Nursing is one of the largest fields uh, under any public health system. Uh, nursing is very common and is seen in numerous uh, different facilities and other organizations. Uh, historically, one of the most important nurses that has ever existed was Florence Nightingale. Essentially, Nightingale was born into a noble family, gave up that noble lifestyle in order to help uh, common people who are sick and battling disease and other maladies uh, that plague that society. Uh, by doing this and shedding off her nobility and doing what she believed was right, she, she was able to revol revolutionize and change nursing for the better. Uh, in, modern, in the modern era, nurses are able to provide immediate hands-on care to a multitude of patients throughout the course of their career. Uh, nurses are able to do kind of the more nitty-gritty work of what it takes to um, treat people when they are at their worst. There are a multitude of different nurses with different specialties and jobs and abilities, but all of these nurses are able to help people who are in need, need. The field of nursing is still growing and needs both men and women of all ethnicities in order to create a well-rounded field within this public health system.
The environment and public health have a the environment and public health have a direct relationship. Healthier, more stable environments produce a healthier people. However, natural disasters such as hurricanes, fires, and tornadoes naturally threaten humanity. This makes public health agents' job to protect the environment, uh, both from mankind and also protect mankind, mankind from the environment, so important. It is the relationship between environment and people is important. The public and public health. Public action plays a significant role in shaping public health policy. People have to recognize the health risks that they put themselves in. Things like smoking and obesity all threaten the safety of mankind. Uh, because of this, groups or policymakers must make laws that help eliminate unnecessary risks that threaten society. Undoubtedly, public health has grown throughout the many years of its existence because of science uh, legislation and people's tenacity and desire for change public health has helped make the world a healthier place there's still a lot to do in the industry of public health though. Uh, though we have accomplished much there is still much to be accomplished diseases must be fought uh, safety must be and uh, encouraged uh, there needs to be better social planning and ultimately uh, public health workers must always be on the alert to protect people from harm. Uh, I have learned a tremendous amount because of this class. Public health is extremely important and I rely on it every day. I took this class as just a general education requirement. However, I now know what it takes to live a healthy lifestyle and, I, and the importance of sharing this information with the people directly and indirectly in my life. I need to be more informed on what's going on around me so that I can make conscious decisions to be as healthy as possible. Uh, and because of the broadness of public health, there are also a multitude of ways in which I can fulfill certain public health requirements. It just requires my attentiveness and desire to be an instrument for effective change.